What is up, Yu-Gi-Oh! players? Relaxed Yu-Gi-Oh! player coming at you guys with our new September 30th ban list for the card game. So pretty much, this is a epic card game. We're going to go over pricing on some of the cards, what decks are going to be decent, and uh, just my thoughts of this ban list in general. I will say, uh, some of the cards in here, I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's definitely different. Uh, some of them we were, I was expecting. But let me know your thoughts in the bottom in the comments here. Just let me know, hey, what, what decks you may play now or what you think that these cards may impact on the game. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started on the, the list. We'll start with the band and then we'll go down. So first off, we'll kind of slowly scroll through here. As you can see, the band list or this uh, the, the forbidden list is you know not touched. Nothing has been banned. That is okay. I mean, there's some cards that could have been banned, but they weren't. That's that's okay. That's Yu-Gi-Oh. We have to deal with it. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down for the cards that are limited to one. So with this list here, we're going to go ahead and see what's the first card. Should be the next thing here. So we have the awesomeness of Global back in the game. This card by itself opens up Synchro decks once again. Um, we'll see in another card later in the, the, the video that's going to help out tremendously as well. Not great, but it will help. But Global, Burning Abyss can use this. Uh, Shadals can use this because it is Earth. You know, <laughs> um, you can now Synchro easier in like any deck. Uh, Light Swords can use Global. Not needed in there, but it, it does help. I mean, it's, it'll be staple definitely. Any deck that can just put a card to grave, you know, Sylvans, oh my gosh, it, don't even get me started. <laughs> it's a level one tuner. Um, we're going to go ahead and go over the pricing on this card. So, mediocrely, I mean, currently, ultis, uh, some people are going a little crazy. The, they're about 40 to 45, or 40 to 50 dollars, really. Um, I guess they can be a little lower, maybe 35 to 50, <laughs> but it just came out uh, off the band list, so Ultras, holding steady. This guy here is a little crazy. 65 for freaking one Ultra. But, um, you know, they're about 25, 30. A little right around there, I guess, for the Ultra. Um, so that is Glow Bulbs pricing. So, you know, we'll see those probably change a little bit. Go down just a tad bit, but I don't see them um, going too much crazier. Kind of like Goyo. Uh, we'll go ahead and go over the, uh, the following cards here. Scroll down, next card is Inferno the Archfiend. Thank you, baby Jesus. <laughs> uh, Inferno the Archfiend uh, made Inferno a thing. Uh, take for granted, they can still play in this game, uh, especially if we get the level 4 fusion uh, Noden, whatever his name is. Insta fusion and Noden special Archfiend. You can, you know, Xyz still. But three Archfiends made the deck insanely, like, consistent. And uh, you can do combos on and on with three. Two would have still hurt the deck, but they can still do some similar loops. One, the deck is playable, but it is less uh, consistent, because you're not going to be able to special from the deck with this card uh, but once. Unless you put it back to the deck with uh, Lava Ball, Ball Chain, that's that's fine, but uh, that's about it. <laughs> um, so Archfiend to one is good. Solitaire decks are boring. Archfiends were Solitaire deck. And we'll go ahead and scroll down here and see what's next. So yeah, I don't want to go too fast because I haven't really looked too much. Now this is one of the, the catchers here. Gold Bulb, one of the biggest ones for sure. This one right here, <laughs> the Almighty Regeki. This card hasn't been off the list in so long. Um, I don't even remember when it was banned, but this card, Regeki. Um, what can we say? <laughs> it's Dark Hole, but better. We have Dark Hole still in the game. So now we have two monster destructions for the board. Uh, my question is, I mean, obviously Regeki is good and so is Dark Hole. Will that make Yang Zings any better? Who knows? Will that make any deck any better? Who knows? Uh, this opens up more being able to swing for OTKs, I would assume. It may make Starlight Road a better card. For granted, Starlight Road may raise in price because Regeki and Dark Hole are a thing. Plus we also have Black Rose, which is in, in quite a few decks, you know. But... Um, we'll go ahead and check the pricing on Regeki here too. So as you see, Secret Rares. This guy's wanting 20 bucks for a secret. This guy's wanting 40 and it has a 40 to 16 bids. That's kind of crazy. 
Um, I have a few of those myself, so I'm going to have to get those off my chest. <laughs> um, we have some secrets. They're, they're literally way too high. I mean, this card is super uh, anti regeki not worth playing, period. That card is just garbage for one card. No. You might as well play the white hole for the dark hole. Even the black rare, twelve ninety nine. I, I I mean, if you guys want some, come to me. I'll sell you secrets for like 15s, black rares for 5s. Bring it. <laughs> so I don't even care. But um, that is Regeki. You know, even LOB First Mint, 45. Um, keep granted, these aren't sold, so we all don't, we, we, you know, we never know. These are Portuguese first ed. Um, so that's Regeki. This card is so, so much nostalgia. Oops, my bad. But, man, <laughs> I was so happy to see that, but I'm like, man, is that, is that really so legit? Um, the next card, Soul Charge, definitely needed to heat, you know, either one or zero. I am fine with one. It doesn't make more of like a sack card, because instead of being able to play two or three, which is consistent, if you draw it before your opponent, then it's going to be more of a sacky card. Um, still a broken card, nonetheless. This card is ridiculous good. Opens up so many plays and so many decks, and now that we only have one, maybe that'll you know get people to play zero. People will still play. I mean, I would still play one because it is there. You know, <laughs> uh, the next card, Super Poly. Uh, you and your Shadals can suck it. <laughs> uh, just being able to you know one for one your opponent. You obviously, so first off, Super Poly by itself is nega one. You send one card from your field and one card from your opponent's field, so it's still a neg one, and then you discard a card, uh, neg two. The thing is that you get to summon a monster that possibly can stun your opponent in the game. Um, I mean, Super Poly itself, you know, you could take your opponent's best best monster, so that really the neg part, I mean, does not affect it at all. But this card is really busted in Shadows for sure. Um, we'll go ahead and scroll down, see what else we've got here. So that's it for the uh, you know limited. So we'll go ahead and go to the semi-limited. What's going to two? This card is awesome. I love black wings. I love them. So Gale the Whirlwind to two. So now you can finally summon Shura, swing, special Gale, have another one left in your deck. Um, it opens up a lot more because this card to two still isn't going to break the deck. Obviously, black wings, they're still not as broken as a lot of the other ones. But Gale, uh, anti-meta, summon this guy. Have your opponent's monster swing. Uh, it's a tuner. You know you can special on the black wings. Granted, sync for sevens and whatever you need to do. Um, but this card right here, I will make black wings for sure with this ban list, just because Gale's at two. I want to try it out <laughs> for the consistency sake at least. We'll go ahead and scroll down here, and we have Gores, the Emissary of Darkness, limited to two. Uh, this doesn't gonna. I mean, overall. Not going to affect us too awfully much. Um, I mean, there there are some decks that don't play a lot of back row. I mean, this maybe Burning Abyss could start playing this because it, it is a dark. It doesn't really matter there, but you don't play. I mean, you play back row, but you don't want too much because you want to be able to special those Burning Abyss when you have the chance. Plus, with the um, tuner coming out for the Burning Abyss, maybe Gores will be like a legitimate thing because you can sink. Um, and, and other things, you know. But uh, Gores to two, cool, nothing uh, game breaking there. Scroll down here and was limited. So this card here, Ceasefire, if you don't know what it does, it pretty much flips all monsters face up and then you know, burns your opponent for 500 for each monster on the board. This, in my opinion, in Yang Zings, you could possibly play this in Shadals. Really? I mean, Yang Zings to me. Being able to burn your opponent for 500 for each monster on the field um, could be game breaking because you're going to keep that field presence as long as they don't have like you know multiple cards that could spawn with fuck you. <laughs> but I would play Ceasefire and my Yang Zings. I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. Um, nothing game breaking there as well. Scroll down just a tad bit more and the Transmigration Prophecy. Uh, the reason this card is actually going to be really good. This is actually one of the cards that that'll help kind of slow down just a little bit other decks. Shuffles two um, cards from your player's grave into the deck. This card versus Burning Abyss helps. Shadals helps. You know, I mean, it's more of a side deck card, but I mean, you could look into main decking depending on what deck you do play. Um, you can play it in Light Swarms also. 
shuffle back them JDs. But um, Trainer's Mitigation Prophecy, I mean, I don't really see an issue, issue with it at two. It does help you consistently get the stuff back to the deck. Uh, we'll go ahead and go down to the cards that were limited or banned or whatnot. These are limited to three now or unlimited. Cult Soldier Wolf Bark. Okay, so just saying this. This card was at one, I think, for like, what, one or two formats. Back to three. This card's good. Uh, makes Fire Fists good again, once again. But uh, the thing is, I mean, um, the game does have newer decks. We'll see if it does any different. But uh, Cold Silver Wolf Bark, I mean, you could play some Fire Kings, Regeki, Dark Hole. I mean, maybe it's a thing, you know, I don't know, we'll see. We'll go ahead and uh, you'll see the, the formula in the, the Magician of Faith here. So, pretty much, Magician of Faith to three doesn't, uh, as far as I know, so far, we don't, I don't know, I don't think there's any crazy combos with Magician of Faith. Yeah, you can possibly flip it face down and up with the one dude, get the Regeki back, oh, the nostalgia. Get a Regeki. <laughs> but uh, this and you Dark Hole, you can do, I mean, now you can do Soul Charge easier, maybe. I mean, Soul Charge V card, you know, do what you do. Um, but I don't see this doing anything crazy. Formula Synchron. Like I said earlier, Glow Bulb. Formula Synchron. They're back. Like, well, Formula was in there already, but now he's at three. Um, I'm not sure if any decks are going to need to play three, maybe two. But I know two definitely is a thing. I will definitely as well, in the near future, try to build a Synchro deck with Formula. Back to the old days, some of librarian sync for formula, nuke the field, you know, draw some shit. <laughs> Those were fun. One for one and everything, you know, we, we have everything back pretty much. And uh, let's go ahead and see what the last card is here. Reinforcement of the army. What are you saying, Satellar Knights? What? So you lose your soul charges, but you gain the rotas. Um, yeah, I mean... Do they need the consistency add? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, are they trying to push the Satella Knights or are the other warrior decks that can play this? Uh, maybe Heroes. I don't really know, but this card... Rota, you could have stayed at two. We don't need that many. Now, I mean, if, if you play Heroes, you know, congratulations, you have six. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Road at three, didn't need it, but whatever. It is what it is. Make the consistency a little higher. So pretty much, guys, uh, you know, I do want to say that that was our 2014 September ban list. I will be trying out a few decks, including Black Wings and Yang Zings with some ceasefires and some random stuff. But uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and I'll be definitely coming at you guys with some more. I don't know what my next video is going to be, but it's going to be cool. Just like bow ties. <laughs> but I do want to say thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the list and how it may affect the uh, you know the, the game state. But I'll come back at you guys later. This is Relax Studio Player. Peace.